Hello, my YouTube family. Why is it the second I start, the second I start, my nose begins to itch? I don't know. It's, maybe it's a nervous tick or something. I don't know. Okay, people. Um, lips of the day. No, it's not a brown lip gloss. This time, you know, I, I got to give it a break. I got to gotta give it a break every now and then. Spread them out a little. So as you can see, the theme of the day is kind of like orangey. So that's what I was doing today. So let's start it off with the lip liner. I have done a lip look on this before. And this is a Wet n Wild cream lip liner. And this does not have a name, obviously old, but the number is 711, 711. Lined and filled is a black radiance perfect tone lip gloss and this is in golden peach it is rather orangey and it comes it when you when you you know when when it first comes out it comes out bam but when you shear it out it it does shear out it shears out see this is what it looks like when it first comes out and then you shear it out. And see, it's just a little orangey kind of gloss. Orangey. And I can do this one. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So there you have it. That is golden peach. And that is golden peach. See, it's, it's not a bam in your face at all. At all. So that is that with that upon that. A package came and I opened it up. Lord, thank thank God I opened it up. Uh, one came yesterday and, and of course I realized that after I had finished uploading my video. And one came today. This came yesterday. This is Clean and Clear Morning Glow Moisturizer. And I did not realize that I had ordered a three pack. So I've got three of these, which I guess is kind of good. And there is a reason why I ordered this. And I will tell you that in a minute. The other thing that came today, small, these are small, is my Black Radiance. Say I'm wearing Black Radiance and a Black Radiance came. Perfect Tone Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Cashmere. This is in the color cashmere. You have to think about it for a second because they don't have it. They have it marked in the in the plastic. But once you tear it open, I don't know whose brilliant idea that was not to put it actually on the packaging. But this one is called cashmere. And I bought this one for a reason also. I bought, I'll tell you the story about this one. And I'll tell you the story about the other one, of course. Um, I bought this one because I was Googling and I saw a black young lady who had, she made a combo. She comboed this with a wet and wild lipstick that I think I do have. And it looked so good on her. I said, oh, wait a minute. I have the lipstick, but I need that lip gloss. And this was the lip gloss she was using. Perfect tone, Black Radiance Perfect Tone Lip Gloss in cashmere had to get it had to get it after i saw what it looked like on her lips what you know when you need to duplicate something yes so that is that now as for the story of this this has to do with my look on my face today because i used it i was videoing well not videoing is that even a word i'm videoing now i was looking through YouTube for um, dewy, I told you, dewy, dewy makeup, dewy powder, dewy foundation. Well, I think I did found, find a dewy powder. It's in my Amazon. It's on my wish list. Or did I put it in my cart? I think I put it in my cart. Mm, yeah, I know. Danger zone. Um, but this I saw in a video, and I'm going to find the link to that video and post it 
underneath in the description box. It's no more than three or four minutes long. You don't even see the girl's face. She just shows you the, um, the makeup products that she uses to create her own dewy foundation. And I said, oh, wait a minute. I need to get, I need to get this because that's what she used. So, you know, you try to, you try to get as close to whatever she has, but I didn't, I mean, what I have, I don't think would have worked. So, you know, when you just have to get the same thing that the person's using, it's like a recipe. You need the exact ingredients to get the recipe right. So that's exactly what I did. So she had this, and although she had a different powder, this is the powder I used. I used the L'Oreal Bare Natural All Over Mineral Glow because the powder that she used is just a tad pricey. It's a um, Revlon Skin Lights powder. And first of all, this is pretty damn similar to the Skin Lights powder, so I used that instead. And my regular foundation, which is this mixed with this. So she used her foundation, she used this, and she used her glowy powder. It has to be a glowy powder. And she mixed them all together and came out with her own dewy looking foundation. Voila, I used the exact same thing, did step by step. I mean, to the point where I had the video on this morning while I was putting on, while I was mixing it, she was, while she was mixing it, I was mixing the same thing. And then after she was done, cause you don't see her put it on. That's the only thing. You don't see her put it on. She just shows you the creation and then that's it. So I said, oh, that sounds pretty reasonable, pretty nice, pretty easy. So I found that video last night. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try it tomorrow morning, which was this morning. So it was relatively simple, and this is the look that I that 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 it it gave me, and I'm quite satisfied. What? Quite satisfied. It's nice, and of course, you know, I use powder, so it's not as glowy. But I think I think I did well. I think I did rather rather well. You see this loveliness right here? It's this. Believe it or not. It's this, my Wet n Wild Fergie. Gave me this glow right here. Gave me this glow right here, yes. I'm all about the highlight, people. I am all about the highlight, the dewy look. Yes, honey, you see that I am holding on. I don't know what I'm holding on to. Holding on to my youth for as long as I can. My youth is long gone. I don't know what the hell I'm holding on to. My youth is long gone, but I still want to look fresh. I still want to look young. And as long as people at work can't really guess my age, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Okay. So that's really basically it in a nutshell. But I do have to tell you this. The last maybe 15 minutes before I had to, to um, go, I had to leave from work um it was a little longer than like maybe the last half hour i went back into the archives of my amazon orders and i wanted to find out what was the very first face powder that i ordered that that i haven't been using i'll show you what it is i even wrote it down i wrote down a list of things that I ordered back from 2012, the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer. I have to start using that. And I'm gonna use it as a blush, not as a face powder. But here is the face powder that, um, oh, and I'm already using this, because I have that. I ordered this in 2013. So I may start doing my makeup like that as opposed to what I was doing before, um, just so I could use it up. Because it's only I only have one of those. I have two of the nat Bare Natural blushes, but I have only one of the All Over Mineral Glow. It's got to go. I've had it since 2013. But the powder that I bought in Amazon, I bought it in 2014. 
And I may have used it once or twice, and then I put it away. Well, I'm taking it out now. And I am going to use it. In place of, this is the face powder that I that powders everything down. This is the one I'm, I've been using, the Nuance Salma Hayek. The um, Mineral Foundation Medi Medium Deep that I've been powdering down. So I'm going to put this away. This is what I should be using. My Translucid Powder Luminescence. Here, it says Natural Luminous Powder. Why haven't I been using my Natural Luminous Powder if I'm all about the glow? I bought it for that specific reason. But then, you know when you buy something and you put it away... And then you buy other stuff and you put them away. And then before you know it, you forget what you bought. Well, welcome to my world. So I'm going to start using this. Hello? See how different my look comes. I'm going to start, you know, experimenting and changing things up. I'm, I'm doing that because instead of itching to buy new things, by the way, that's not to say that I won't still buy new things. But instead of wanting to buy new things all the time, maybe you should use the things that you already have, Nancy. They're sitting there like like you just bought them because they're practically brand new. I'm renting at my own self, people, okay? Sometimes you have to do that. You have to kick yourself in the butt every now and then. You buy, you buy, you buy, you buy, you want, you want, you want. And then when you get it, it's like, oh, okay. It's like a man. The want of makeup is like a man chasing a woman. He got to chase her. He got to chase her. He got to chase her. And then when he finally gets her, it's like, oh, okay. Boop. Notch on my belt. What's the next thing I can chase? Typical man. Makeup with women is the same thing. You get it. You get it. You get You want it. You want it. You want it. You want it. You finally get it. It's like, oh, my lovely, my precious. Oh, what's that over there? It's like, hello, you just bought this. Yeah, okay, now that I have it, what's the next thing? What's the next new thing? At least that, that's the way it is for me. I keep saying women, but I, I really should be speaking for myself. Because that's me. I find something, like, on my wish list. I've got, like, over 150 things in my wish list. Do you really think I'm going to get every all of them? I don't think so. Not in this lifetime, anyway. But I keep putting on my wish list, putting in my checkout. Or, well, not my checkout, my cart. Putting in my wish list, putting in my card, putting in my wish list, putting in my card. And then when it, when the want is just so deep that I hit the checkout, then I wait for them, I wait for them, I wait for them. They get here and it's like, oh, I have it, I have it. And then next thing you know, I'm at work. What can I Google? What, what, why? You just bought a whole bunch of new stuff. It's an illness. It's an illness. It's a sickness. I think. I think I have a sickness for makeup. I really do. I can't be the only one that, that feels this way. I, I just, you know, it's like they dangle the carrot in front of you and it's like, oh, I must have that. I must have that. And then you reach for it, you don't get it. You reach for it, you don't get it. Finally, you get it. It's like, oh. And you open your eyes and then there's something else dangling in front of you. It's like, oh, okay. And then you toss whatever you just fought for, you toss it aside and then it's like, oh, I want that now. Like a child. Like a child. So I'm going to be using this. I don't know with what. I'm still going to be obviously using my foundation and, you know, mixing it with this. But powder, I'm going to use this. And hopefully I'll still get a nice, a nice look. I just want some glow, people. And of course I do have a little bit of glow. I got that highlight glow. I love that. But I want that moisture. But I also saw a video, which it, it obviously it makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. Powder is going to give you a matte to semi matte to matte finish, no matter what, because that's what powder does. It absorbs the oil in your face to give you a matte finish. So there really is no such thing as a dewy powder. Because it's an oxymoron within itself. And at the video that I was watching, the, the, the makeup artist said that. She said the only way you can get a dewy look is if you use dewy products. 
a dewy foundation, cream blushes. I'm not too good with cream blushes, people. And creamy, you know, creamy uh, highlighters, things that are moist, will give you the moist look, the wet-ish look, that, that dewy look that I am going nuts over. Powder is only going to powder down the dewiness on my face. It makes sense. So why the hell am I looking for a dewy powder? Because the, but I did find one, people. I did find one. Oh, you know I want that bad boy, right? You know I want it. And it's not expensive, expensive. So there's that. Then, <sighs> Ms. Antoine, yeah, I'm talking to you. Um, you um gave me the name of a hydrating mist, a Tasha, a, I think that's her name, Tasha, or Satasha, or Natasha, something, hydrating mist. And yes, you did inform me that it was rather pricey. I found it on Amazon, and I found a little trial size, a little sample size. Or, no, travel size, not sample size. Travel size. And I thought the travel size was like, you know, maybe 1.5 ounces. Um, the travel size was 0 0.5 ounces. I didn't order it. Thank you, Jesus. But I did see a video on it on YouTube. And, um, it does give a glow. Ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie. It does give a glow. But Ms. Antoine, that's right. I'm not even using your first name. I'm going with your, your last name. Ms. Antoine. Um, the full product is a whopping $48. You did tell me. You did tell me, and I, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. But why you got to dangle that in my face now? As many dewy sprays as I've got, now I want that one. You see what I'm talking about, right? It's like, okay, but you have all of these, the other mists that do just a, pretty much the same thing, Nancy. Yeah, but that one now. And the travel size for 0.5 ounces is $29.99. I get more in the NYX spray than I'm going to get in this one. So I will be taking a pass on that. But thank you ever so for teasing me and taunting me and playing with my emotions. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Okay. And it's, it, there's no point in looking for a dupe for it because I pretty much have the dupe. Like, I have the um, Pixie Glow Mist, which I am extraordinarily happy with. I have the NYX um, Dewy Mist, extraordinarily happy with. Do I have another spray? Hold on. Elf. I got the Elf one, Illuminating, and the regular makeup one. But I got the Illuminating one. But now there's this new one. I got to stay off this ledge. I need to stay off this ledge. Okay? Just just stay off the ledge, Nancy. So that's basically it in a nutshell, people. Um, work was work. We had a Cinco de Mayo thing going. I wasn't really all into it, although one of my coworkers did bring some food out for me. But what was the point? Because I went to lunch at, well... Hopalong came to my desk at 2.25. I say nothing anymore, people. I really don't. Um, she came to my desk at 2.25, so I, fin I, I finished eating lunch, and I came back up at 3 o'clock. And the Cinco de Mayo thing was happening at 3 o'clock. I wasn't hungry for nothing. But they were serving, like, 
empanadas and, you know, little tortillas and all of that. I wasn't hungry for nothing, but here comes a coworker. The one time I don't want them to think about me, here they go thinking about me. Oh, Nancy, we brought you this and, you know, you, you, you really never get a chance to get up from your desk to, uh, you know, participate in this, this and that. I was like, oh, thank you very much. And um, they were standing there like they were waiting for me to finish eating it. Thank goodness it was like three little chicken empanadas. I guess that's what you call them. And they were three small ones. So I, mm, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, it's really good. But I was full as all hell. So I may not even have dinner tonight. That's how full I still am. I mean, it is 645 right now and I'm full as hell. I am not hungry for nothing. Okay. So, yeah, the one time I don't want them to think about me, here they go. All right. So that's basically it in a nutshell, people. I am having the time of my life. Can I just say, I'm having the time of my life playing with my stuff. I really am. And of course, new stuff keeps coming in. But I think right now, the only thing I'm waiting for is my um, makeup sponge, which, you know, is coming by Pony Express from China. So I won't be getting that for like another two weeks or so. And I think really that's the only thing left. That really is the only thing left. I did say that I would not make another order, another Amazon order, until everything from this order came. So, you know, I'm going to start putting things in my cart now, right? Because I'm only, i really only waiting for one thing. I'm waiting for it, and I will wait for it. I won't place an order until it arrives. You know how difficult that is? I got stuff in my wish list, people, that I need to put in my cart. You just don't know. What? Okay. All right. Mm. Okay. So that's basically it in a nutshell. That is it. That is all. Um, I'm going to find that video that gave me this look. I'm going to find it. I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to attach it in my description box and you guys can take a look. It's really, it's, it's, I don't even know if it's a five minute video, seven minutes tops, if that, and you, you could tell me what you think. So that's it. That's all. Um, today is Thursday. I don't know what's on TV, people. I don't know any. Oh, wait a minute. What, what am I talking about? I don't know what's on TV. Um, Scandal. Hello. Scandal. And is anybody watching The Catch? Oh, that is good, too. Because, you know, Rhonda is executive producer of that one as well. It is really good. And whoever is not watching The Americans, that was on last night. That show is the ish. It's on FX, so nobody really talks about it that much because it's on a channel that really nobody talks about that much. But it is such a great show. But tonight is Scandal, among other things. I think I've got The Flash tonight, I think. I'm not sure. I could be right or wrong. I don't know. But I definitely know Scandal's going to be on, and I definitely know The Catch is going to be on. So there you go. That's it, people. That is all. Um, oh, last night was um Real Housewives of New York. Hello, sit down. Can we talk? Um, this Jules chick. You know what? We always from the beginning, I me and Beth. Me and Bethany were like, yeah, she really is kind of skinny. Like skinny, skinny. Well, as it turns out, she did suffer from a, a an eating disorder. And I guess she still struggling with it so you know she opened up to beth and i was really happy that she opened up to bethany because they were at odds for a bit jules kind of misunderstood bethany she didn't really know what bethany was all about because bethany just just says whatever's at, in her mind and she will spout it out sometimes she's not even thinking she'll just say it and she doesn't realize sometimes that she comes across as harsh but she doesn't mean to be harsh she just says it like it is Says it how she feels, and if you don't like it, you know, it's not, oh, well, but she doesn't realize that she could be a little harsh. So there was a slight misunderstanding, so they both went out to lunch, 
I was so glad that they did because now Jules understands how Bethany operates. And that's, that's just Bethany. I love me some Bethany, honey. I'm so proud of her. I really am so damn proud of her. And I'm even a little jealous because she did, she did it right. She did it right. She, she had an idea. She made, she created an idea. She, she made it work and she's a millionaire now. She is rich. She is a rich bitch. She is rich. And you could see the change in her. Money changes people. Sometimes for the negative, sometimes for the positive. But it gives them a sense of, I don't have to struggle. I am okay now. I don't have to worry about where my next dime is coming from. She's at that. You could tell. She's she's comfortable now. She's, she's okay. She's still, oh, honey, she's still working. Don't get it twisted. She's still working. But she is more, she has a house now. She has a Hamptons house. She has a New York uh, City um, apartment. A New York City apartment. Okay. New York City apartment. Something like 24000 a month. Okay. All right. Yes, you heard me right. Twenty four. And now I'm just, I'm making up the, 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 the rent. But in the space that they showed that she has, yeah, it's around, it's around about that much. So if you can afford an apartment and a Hamptons house, what? Yeah, you rich. You a rich bitch. And she is a rich bitch. And I'm so proud of her. So proud of her. She did it right. Okay, so, you know, she got a divorce. She's good at money and she ain't good at relationships. You know, we can't all be great in everything, okay? But um, she's still kind of, you know, dating a little here and there. She's got her daughter, which I don't think they're going to show her daughter on TV. Because she was talking a lot about her last night, in last night's episode, and they didn't show her. So I have a feeling she's keeping her daughter out of the limelight. Because that's a, it's, it's maddening. It's crazy. And if, she's, if the daughter is stuck on a schedule, let's not ruin that. So... You know, she's, she's doing things. She has done it right. She has done it right. I'm so damn proud of her. I really am. Love me some Bethany. Uh, Kuki uh, Ramona, she's, uh, you know, she finally divorced. The divorce papers came through, and now she's, you know, Miss Wild Thing. She got dates here, dates there, this, that, and the other. <sighs> Whatever. Um, Things are a little odd with the Countess, and Bethany. There's a little... There's a little glitch somewhere. And they spoke about it, but... And they cleared the air a little bit, but I think both of them are going to be kind of weary of each other. So there's that. The Countess is... I don't know. She She's giving me kind of, you know, when your antennae goes up, your little antennae, goes up a little bit. She's she's giving me that. She didn't used to, but now she is cuz I'm realizing she she kind of mm, not trashy. I can't really say she's trashy, but she's kind of two-faced a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay? Just a little bit. Um who else is there? Okay, we spoke about Jules. Uh What's the other one's name? Ramona's friend. Her uh, my phone is being blown up. I know it's my it's, it's my partner in crime, Carrie, because we were texting a little bit. And she's just going to have to wait. Sorry, Carrie, if you're watching this. Sorry, you were blowing me up at the moment, but I'm doing I told you I was doing a video, girl. Um, What is Sylvia? No, honey, me, Sylvia. What, you know, Ramona's friend. Uh, She is inviting the Countess to stay with her. I want to see how that's going to turn out. So I think that's about it. Um, Hala is no longer. She's not in the show. Heather is not in the show anymore. And uh, Aviva, one-legged Aviva, she gone too. So that's minus two. But now they've got jewels to make up, I guess, for one. I don't know if there's another one coming in or what have you. I think there's enough ladies right now. There's enough. There's enough. Oh, and Carol. How could I forget my girl, Carol? Uh, Carol and the Countess. Oil and water, honey. 
oil and water. And I really don't blame Carol because the Countess had said some pretty cruel and mean things and just bitchy things on Twitter and, you know, what have you, Instagram, whatever. I don't know. I think it's on Twitter. That she's mocking Carol's relationship with the young guy that she's seeing presently because the young guy used to go out with the Countess's daughters, with the Countess's daughter. They broke up. It's been a broken up relationship for the longest time. And if he had eyes for Carol and there was a mutual liking, why are you sticking your sad, pitiful nose in it? Just because, what, you trying to protect your daughter? They broke up. Carol didn't break them up. They were already broken up before Carol stepped into the picture. So now you got to up nose to, to, to Carol about, uh, I don't understand why you're, you're, you're seeing a guy that's, you know, 10 times your age, younger than you. What business is it? of yours countess which by the way can we can we drop the countess shit by now can we drop it because you're not a countess no more okay you're not a countess no more although somebody did tell me i think one of my family members told me that she will drop her countess name i think beth beth were you the one that told me the name the countess title will be dropped once she gets married again well bitch hurry up and get married because i am tired of calling you countess Okay, you don't act like a countess. Lord knows you don't act like a countess. And from what's been going on, your reputation is um, murky at best. Okay, so go find yourself your own relationship and leave Carol's alone. Apparently, from what I heard, she is going to be engaged in this season or going to get married or she's already married. I don't know what the deal is. But in this particular episode, these past couple of episodes, she's not married yet. Okay? So, I I'm getting very upset. I'm getting very upset. Leave Carol alone. Her business is her business with whoever she wants to do her business with. Go find yourself your own man. Leave her life out of your mouth. What is the problem? What is the problem? And then you're going to wonder why she's giving you the cold shoulder. She's giving you the cold shoulder because, A, you did not apologize for the mean, stupid things that you've been Twittering out in Twitter land about her. If you came up correct and gave her an apology like you should, then maybe she'd be willing to be at least civil with you. The Carol sees her coming in. Carol goes the other direction. And then, just to be spiteful, the Countess likes to follow her around. And then tells her, well, you're going to have to talk to me sooner or later. And Carol's like, no, I really don't. When she said that, I was like, oh, sweet Jesus. Yes, she's right. I don't have to talk to your sorry ass if I don't want to. There's, there's nothing that I have to say to you. <sighs> I'm getting all upset and, and it's going on. It's, it's past half hour. Okay, got to go now. Got to go. Got to go. OK, um, so that that was the Real Housewives of New York. So there we go. Makeup, Real Housewives of New York. Ah, lips of the day. I, I, this is a full video. OK, I hope everybody who likes my lengthy videos, I hope you're happy. All right. So I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think of the lips and, you know, of the looks and seeing that I changed up a few things. Let me know what you think. OK. I love you. I will talk to you tomorrow. TGIF people. TGIF tomorrow. Yes. Okay. So let's let's make it to the finish line. I love you. Mwah. Bye now.